In this video, we'll look at how to interface an LED. Interface an LED. So when we look at an LED, uh, what the physical appearance of an LED looks something like that. There's a, there's a long terminal and a short terminal. We call them the cathode and the anode. And there's our positive and negative, as we call them. And from a circuit standpoint, we draw it like this, where we have our positive end and our negative end. And the LED that we're going to use has a data sheet. If you look up the data sheet, you will find that an LED's behavior is described in terms of its VI curve, a voltage current curve. So what we're doing is we're plotting the voltage against the current to describe the behavior of the LED. Um, unlike a resistor, which is linear, which means that the relationship between the voltage and current is a straight line, a linear, uh, LED behaves more as a nonlinear as a nonlinear device. What that means is on this curve, we can we have some an operating point. An operating point for us is, let's say, this point. What this tells us is the manufacturer often tells us that if you want to get the best out of your LED, operate it at this point. So this is some VDID point, right? So that's your VDID point. So this is what we're going to target our, our circuit to use when we set it up, when we build it. So as it turns out, the manufacturer on this particular LED told us that the VD value is 1.8 volts and the ID is a ID is 3 milliamps. And if you multiply the V times the I, you get power. And that'll tell you how bright it is. So the power is an indicator of brightness. Typically, we talk about brightness in terms of lumens. So when you're buying an LED, you're checking for how many lumens it has so that it's the brighter the LED, the more lumens it has. Okay. So now let's see how we're going to interface this to our microcontroller. So we have our LED. We want to interface it to our microcontroller. And so I'm going to draw it here. Here's my microcontroller. And we're going to use PE4. And on PE4, we want to interface an LED. So here's our LED, which is, which again, we want it to be positive logic, which means that when I write a 1 here, it has to, a logic 1 will turn it on, a logic 0 will turn it off. So this is our circuit, and we'll see what this resistor is for in just a second. So the idea again is this is my positive, my negative. This is the LED will only glow when there is a high on the positive end and a low on the negative end. So we connected our negative end to the ground. And here is our resistor R. So the choice of this resistor is determined by the behavior that we're trying to target. So let's, let's look at what our equation says. So let's look at the case where I write a logic 1 here. So if I write a logic 1 to PE4, what is the voltage I see here? So that is my digital value. And my analog voltage at this point is 3.3 volts. That is the logic one. So if I have a 3.3 volts here, if I write the equation, a voltage equation, I have 3.3 volts. I come down here. This Remember that this is our target operation is to get current ID to flow through this. So that's minus ID times R. That is the drop across this resistance. So we have minus VD equals zero because that's my ground. So that's our 
voltage equation. This will tell us that R is simply given by 3.3 minus Vd divided by Id and for us that's going to be a 3.3 minus, minus 1.8 divided by 3 milliamps, right? So that's 3 times 10 to the minus 3. So this will come out to be 1.5 divided by 3 times 10 to the minus 3. So we'll get a 500 ohms. So it turns out I don't have a 500 ohm resistor, but I have a 470 ohm resistor. It's close enough, um, so I will use a 470 ohm to build my circuit. And we'll check all these numbers at the end after we build it. That's correct. But what happens if the output is low? So let's look at what happens when the output is low. So when the output is low, so a low will give me a, a zero is a zero volts. And we have a zero volts here and a zero volts, so there's no potential difference between, the, uh, between here. But remember that a zero volts might actually be some negligible voltage, but it's not enough for, uh, to operate the LED, and so the LED is practical, is off. All right, let's build it. 